When this school opened nearly 20 years ago, that was a moment of grace. That was a moment that turned into a milestone for inner city Catholic education. My mom actually made it a surprise when they got the call that I got the interview. Um, and they were all happy, um, but I was also very nervous. My mom, I told her I got accepted and she came and hugged me and we both read it and she just teared up and just hugged me. I was a really shy kid, so I was worried about what would happen. I didn't think I was gonna fit in, but I'm here as a senior, so I guess something worked. That acceptance letter, I truly believe it's, it's a golden ticket. It's a lottery ticket in so many ways because everything changes. I've been praying to God that Edner find the right school and he become a good young man. And this school is giving him all the opportunities that I, I've been praying for. This school is a gift from God. This school will give our children the opportunity they otherwise will not have. The horizon is limitless when you come to Cristo Rey. We're pulling on nearly 500 years of tradition, but then we're so much more than that because we're such a unique Jesuit school. The work-study program is really what makes us so unique. It adds so much value. It started off as a way to make the school financially viable, but it's so much more than that. If all our employees could perform the way the Crystal Ray employees perform, uh, we'd be even better company than we are today. Hey Manny, what's going on with you, Marty? Not much. They all have talent, and some of them have uh, different talents uh, than we thought they had coming in. And some of them are extremely quantitative, extremely uh, analytical in that way, and others are much more poetic. You know, they get a chance to, uh, to blossom in just in their interaction with adults outside their normal community, and I think that, that helps them a lot and it helps us a lot. Acquiring knowledge and putting it into practice. That's a, a big thing here at Cristo Rey. And, uh, you know, our motto is we form men and women for others, and that's exactly what the school does. The, the teachers are like parents to you, too. If you need help in any subject, they will be there for you. Every day in the classroom, it's a new day. Um, my job is never boring because you never know what is going to happen. And you think you have something planned or, or, or directed, <laughs> and it turns out differently. Um, and I think that is um, one of the best parts because it brings hope that people are thinking, that they're creating, that they're constantly changing. My father came at the age of 19 to the United States. He held the same job for 33 years and he was laid off uh, out of the blue my freshman year entering. And I came into this school, you know, without hope, hopeless. He don't have to work in a way that And it's not bad because I do my work it's, it's the uh, honest work, and, uh, and I'm happy with my work, but I believe and I dream that he is, can be a kind of doctor, real good doctor, because that's what he say. If he say, I, I believe in him. When you see hope walk right through those doors, everyone knows this is a big moment for the family. This is a big opportunity. They, they have a spark in them, and then they, they become, I think, more through Jesuit spirituality, I think they become more aware of what opportunities they have. The attention and the opportunities make me feel like I can do anything. Chris and Ray tells you that you got this, you can do this. When they believe in God and they believe in the grace of God, they appreciate everything. Un renacimiento, a renaissance, I think. This school isn't completely free. We ask parents to pay something, even if it's $10 a month. We ask parents to walk with us. Just making my parents proud, that's a big thing for me. They've done so much for me, and you know, the least I can do is live up to my potential and you know, help them as much as I can. And you know, that's uh, getting a 3.9 GPA, and then uh, also receiving a full ride to Loyola. Uh, I know my parents are extremely proud of me and, you know, that's enough for me. When those give it to us the notice about the scholarship and everything, first thing that I do, I get inside my room, lay down, and I say, this is something that we dream. <laughs>